Hey guys, this is Stephanie Fair in the Technology Facilitator at Butler High School, and this quick video tutorial is how to create a classroom announcements page using Google Slides. So we'll start with creating your Google Slideshow. This is the Google Slideshow you may have seen at our school. You can create it any way you want and set up your template. You can also decide under the share settings exactly who you want to have access to your slideshow. We have anyone with a link can view it, however, you can also select the particular teachers in your school that can create the announcements on your pages. It's simply creating new slides on a slideshow. Once you've done that, you'll want to go under File and then Publish to the Web. You do not want the link, you want the embed code. From the embed code, you can select the slideshow size as well as the auto advance functions of how many seconds you'd like those slides to remain. You can have the slideshow start as soon as the player loads, and you can also have it restart at the end of the last slideshow if you like. Once you have your slideshow published, you'll click the publish, the blue publish button. It will create this HTML code in, a, in the box when you go back in to publish to the web. You'll want to copy this code for later when you create your website. The second part of setting up a school announcement page is to create your website. I created a Google site to go with my Google slideshow presentation which mirrors the slideshow presentation to all the students and users in my school. So let me show you how to set up a Google Site. I am in the new Google Sites menu. I can also show you in the old Google Sites menu. You do not have to use Google Sites in order to create a show. You can also use any other web creation software tool, for example, Weebly, Wix, or any one, or use complete HTML. In Google Sites, you'll click the plus sign to create your site. By default, your site will be set up. You can change the profile or the look of your page. So I'm going to call my page the school announcement page. I can adjust the size of this. If I like or change the layout of this page. Once I do that, if I'll come down to the menu on the right hand side of the page, I'm going to embed something. And when I embed, it gives me either the URL or the embed code. You'll want to use the embed code and paste it in from your slideshow. When you do that, it'll give you a box and it'll show you your slideshow and you'll click insert. You can adjust the size of your slideshow to fill the width of your page. <clears throat> Once you have your slideshow the way you like it to view, then you'll click publish to the web. When you click Publish to the Web, you're going to need to set up for your users uh, the URL address for your page. This will be the one you'll copy and put into your Google Admin box to show people how to get to it. So when you click Publish, your web address by default is https sites.google.com slash cms because we're in our domain slash and then whatever you'd like to call it. So I'd keep it simple and call it either your school initials or your school name and then click Publish. I'm actually not going to publish this page because it's just a temporary one for me. In addition, once you click Publish, you want to come in and you'll want to adjust your share settings. As always, these are by default uh, slightly um, restricted. So right now, this is published to anyone in the web on, with CMS. So you probably want to change this to make it anyone can find and view your website, especially if you're going to, again, publish it out off your school web page to be forward-facing for everyone to use. Once this is set up, you can just continue to edit your slideshow and never touch this page again. The only thing you'll need to do with this page is take your URL that you created and either put it in your Google Admin for it to open on your user devices and or put it into your school website. So let me show you how to do it on the old sites and a couple other of the sites so you can see how it works. If you're in an old sites page, and in this case this is a hidden page on my Google Sites, you'll simply click uh, the pencil to edit the page and then from here you'll click insert and you'll come over to your Google Drive and click insert the presentation. You'll be asked to select the presentation from your Google Drive site. You can also search for it if you can't find it. Once you do that, it will ask you what you'd like it to do, because remember, Sites is owned by Google, so Sites and Presentations will talk together. So you can choose to include a border around your presentation, you can have a title for it, you can have it so the slideshow loads as soon as it starts, you can also have it so it restarts, and you can adjust the size of that slideshow. When you put it in, you'll notice that in the old slides, it's going to show up as a gray box. However, once you click Save, you'll be able to see it and preview it to see what it would look like. So that's how the old Sites works. Again, 
once you've embedded your slideshow into your website, you no longer need to go back and view your website. Make sure your, your website is forward facing and that you have it published to the web so anyone can view it. But other than that, you can continue to have users edit the presentations in the slideshow and never have to touch your page.